what is going on guys I had a idea today and I was thinking about the different things that can be getting in your way when you are trying to succeed as an EMS professional now here's the thing I kind of got it down to three words that might be holding you back when it comes to your success in EMS. What are those three words? Well, it's it didn't work. What do I mean by that, guys? Listen, too many times we end up trying to blame something else for our um, shortcomings, right? We half-ass try something and then say it didn't work okay um let's say you're trying to pass a test right that's something i i focus on mainly is helping people pass exams um be better in ems increase your knowledge base right for me those are the key things i think to help you succeed as an ems professional but whether you use my resources you use somebody else's app another website you just use free stuff on YouTube, whatever the case is. If you don't really use it and just kind of halfway use it and then say it didn't work, more than likely, a lot of times I find when I coach people and I mentor people in my exam success formula, for instance, I find that the reality the harsh reality is is that the person didn't do the work not that what they used didn't work it's they didn't do the work i'm going to give you uh, you know people use flashcards people use practice exams people use study guides okay one thing and, and i'm going to give you one example just kind of round it out i don't want to be too long on this this uh show today but think about study groups for instance okay a lot of times people get into study groups and they say it didn't work Study group didn't work for me you know um, I, whatever I was trying wasn't working I didn't learn anything um, you know no matter what I did I just spent time with these people and nothing ever happened probably what ended up happening is and what I mean by when I say things like you didn't do the work is that when you get into a study group, guys, again, this is just a, 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 a quick example here. If you don't have somebody that's facilitating the group, if you don't have an outline for that study group session, what you're going to learn that day, what you're going to review that day, what you're going to challenge each other on that day, okay? Let's say you're going to do something like, you know, diabetes, right? So you want to have sort of a um, a bullet list of what it is you guys are going to talk about. And you want to have somebody there that's facilitating that list. And if you have a steady study group, everybody takes turns in being the person that's the facilitator, right? And you'll have some people in the group that are stronger in areas than others and stronger in some topics than others, and that's a good thing. You might have somebody in the group that knows everything about that topic, and you say, so what the hell is this person doing in the study group? But that's okay, because on the next topic, you might be the one that knows more about every, about that topic that you're talking about than everybody else, okay? But if you don't have a plan in place, okay, you don't have a, a, a set kind of goal for that study group, it is going to fail you. Right? If you don't have a facilitator, if you don't have a sort of list of bullet points and key topics you're going to talk about and during that study group, you're going to end up coming out and saying to yourself, it didn't work. But the bottom line is, is that you didn't get the work done and the people you're doing the study group with didn't get the work done. You spent more time getting coffee, getting a snack bullshitting about a call you had or what an instructor might have said or somebody else in class that's stupid or is too smart or too arrogant whatever the case may be guys i've been there i've seen it all <laughs> every class okay so 
I know that that's the type of stuff that goes on, all right? So that's why I'm not a big fan of study groups unless you are very strict with that. Okay, now that, that's just an example, guys. It can go for anything, all right, whether you're using flashcards. Let's say you do flashcards, and you're not using flashcards to their, their best ability, okay? I actually did a video a while back on how to do flashcards the right way so you have the most success with them. Look for that video. You can actually put my name in and search on the left here, and it'll come up with flashcard use. So you can go to emsseo.com and look in the video the free video section there and I'm sure that video is there as well how to use flashcards uh, to the best of their ability um, but again if you don't follow a plan if you don't do something where it is set in stone and followed correctly you don't really have the right to say it didn't work you can't buy an app you can't take my exam success formula for instance a week away from class and then a week away from the exam and then fail it and say, oh, uh, gym stuff didn't work, limit creative stuff didn't work, this medic, uh, uh, master your medics didn't work, right? These are all great resources, but the thing is if you don't take the time to actually implement what's being presented to you and utilize these resources in a way that's going to help you the most, then that's when you're going to come out saying it didn't work rather than saying that I didn't work okay now of course on the flip side of that to be fair if you do the things like I mentioned and you use certain apps or programs or websites like you know like TurboMedic or you use a program like my success formula or you use the Luma creative app or you use just like again just YouTube videos and it doesn't work and you use it the way it's supposed to be used with the right amount of time, the right amount of effort, the right amount of um, energy and dedication on your part, then you can say it didn't work. But it might not have worked for you. doesn't mean that it doesn't work for other people. The key is, is that you're going to find that maybe that didn't work for you. But what is it about it that didn't work? Maybe there's something that you're not doing or an approach to it that you're not aware of, okay? Or maybe it's just the way that you learn inside is why it didn't work. Some people don't do well in study groups. Some people don't do well using flashcards, okay? I personally stink at using flashcards, okay? I'm better at reviewing. I'm better at watching videos, listening to audios, okay? So some people work it differently, all right? So it kind of, you know, you got to kind of say, okay, it didn't work but is it true that it didn't work for me or that I didn't put the effort in or did not work with just not my way of learning and understanding okay and I have to figure another way to approach the problem okay because then if you actually do all that and it doesn't work then you can say it didn't work but then you have to find out what it is what's the missing link why it didn't work for you Cause I'm sure it's working for other people you got to figure out why it didn't work for you. So, guys, I hope this makes some sense to you, all right, and not to be one of those knee-jerk reaction people that just says stuff doesn't work. Um, go ahead, guys, if you're interested in my exam success formula, go click below. I put a, a link, direct link to the page. You can check out the exam success formula there. It includes practice exams and videos and coaching and all kinds of stuff to make sure you succeed on your next exam and you build that knowledge base. All right, guys, I am going to end it there. As always, I am Jim Hoffman from emitsseo.com. Stay tuned.